Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel, and this is the review of the new Edge browser from Microsoft. Yes, it's available, and why should you use it? Why could it be better than Google Chrome, and how it actually departs from the original Edge browser? So I posted a video, Microsoft Edge is now available for everybody that wants to download it manually. And if you don't download it manually, in a future Windows update, it will find, arrive to your PC at some point. One of the first things that happens once this new Edge browser is installed, your old Edge is going to be hidden. And you won't be able to access, really, that Edge browser anymore. You're moving on. But the good news is if you sync everything, everything will be synced to your new browser. Immediately, once I installed it and it logged into my account, everything, my favorites, everything that I did was synced. At the top here, you see all the synced uh, websites that I had. So it actually is great for that. And it already knows a lot about what I did in the old Edge browser, uh, thanks to this capability. What is the major change in this new browser compared to the old Edge? Well, this one is based upon Chromium. Chromium is an open source project. Google Chrome is based on Chromium, but you can customize it to your liking. One of the first things that this browser does that Google Chrome will not is that it isn't linking you to any Google services automatically. So maybe if you would like to, you know, spend your time in a browser that doesn't always go on Google's uh, services all the time, well, that's the first thing that happens with this new browser. It doesn't go to Google services by itself. It was tweaked and changed, and Microsoft has given it a way of working that is different. What's nice, being based on Chromium, Extensions can be, of course, um, added not only from the Microsoft Store, but extensions can also be added by the Google uh, page. The Google extensions will work fine. So that also is nice because if you have a favorite Google extension you like to use, you can actually go to the Google Store and install the ex extensions that you like and your favorite ones on the browser. And of course, there's the ones that will be expressly made uh, and available through the Microsoft Store at the same time. So this is also very, very nice. Its rendering engine is a lot better. It has been tweaked and uh, battery life is supposed to be one, the best, if not, well, one of the best, or at least maybe as Microsoft says, the best for any browser. So that also is interesting to see. What happens once you install it? Once you install it, you have this page, which is the tab page. It's the default tab page. It looks like the same one that Microsoft Edge original browser had, but it was tweaked to be a little better. And of course, you can customize all of that. You can remove that and say, well, I don't want to have this page. I want to have a start page, you know, like Google or whatever you want, like any other browser. And that also is a good thing. The setup is easy once you install it, and it's really, really nice. You have, of course, your little menus on the upper right corner. Lots of stuff in there. And in there, one of the things you might want to look at is the new uh, tracking prevention options in the privacy and services. This is something that had, has been added by Microsoft. What you see here is the, the di three different uh, tracking um, improvements or prevention that you can have, basic, balanced, or strict. By default, your tracking prevention is at balanced, which is recommended. Blocks trackers, but will not break, hopefully not break any websites. That is something that is really, really nice uh, at uh, the same time. But you can actually put it strict, means it blocks the majority of every trackers that there is on sites. Um, and there's going to be content and ads will have minimal personalization. But that also means that uh, it can also break a website that won't be visible or have problems with. So you can 
tweak with that and the tra tracking prevention is nice for that option for sure. One of the interesting things also that you will have is the uh, apps. You can actually add a website as an, an app. So for example, Twitter, which is a, uh, a, a PWA, uh, well, a progressive web app, web app, can be added as an app within your uh, browser. So that's, it brings you directly to the uh, you know app directly. So more and more websites actually are progressive web apps. So it's pretty cool. Uh, one notable thing that is missing is collection. So if we go to uh, here, let's go to my um, beta version, my developer version, sorry. You have this little thing here, which is collections. It's not available yet. Collections is a way of putting all the websites into different collections. Uh, for those waiting for that, it's still not available because they're kind of a little behind in the uh, in the development Um of the Edge browser. For the rest, it's really fast, works great. Compared to the original Edge that had a lot of difficulty for connecting, for example, to uh, websites like uh, Google services websites or YouTube uh, that I use a lot, well, this one doesn't have that problem. This works directly, it works great. All you have to do is, you know, go to a website that you want to visit and it just shows up and it just works. So this is nice for that. It was uh, kind of long on a lot of the websites that used, of course, the um, Google uh, services uh, in general. And, you know, it had always been kind of a complicated thing. Even I was at the end kind of a little, uh, you know, tired of using Edge because of all of these delays of using the, uh, the YouTube and, and uploading videos. And it always took a long time. Well, that's fixed here. So that's the new Edge browser. And of course, it's not totally complete. Some features will actually pop up over time. And it is autonomous in its update, like other browsers. You know, Google Chrome can update itself. Firefox can update itself when new versions are updated. Well, the uh, Edge Chromium browser will update itself also. And Microsoft promises that the update will be roughly every six weeks. So this is going to be interesting to see. One word of caution is that this version is actually 10 weeks old. So that promise of every six weeks is a little outdated right now. But anyways, Microsoft does say they're trying to work on a uh, update every six weeks to the browser as you're using it. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.